In this lesson, I want to uh, talk about the important thing that is the layers. Um, let's create a simple new scene here. And as you can see, as I said before here, I want to explain in a more scene, <coughs> clean scene. This is our layer number bar, one. You can click and drag to rename it to the one. From here, you can import another vector layer, layer number two another vector layer number three as you can see there are three to one layer you can simply click and drag them to uh, exactly like photoshop this is the uh, all about the layers the medium layer and the, uh, one of the bottom layer and uh, there are, you can change the arrangement of in the scene <laughs> for example in a layer number one change the fill stroke to simple um simple rectangle here and then this is the object this is the object that is in a layer number one you can draw any object in a layer one that you want this is all object in layer one you can turn it off then you can go into the layer number two and create some others <coughs> tool in layer number two you can turn it off view view turn the view visibility of them and in a layer number three make a yellow one a yellow star and then turn all of them on and as you can see we have a three layer with a, a lots of object on them for example we are in a layer two we are in a layer number one for for changing the position of the object you have to go to the transfer point select it and change the position of the object that is in a layer number one and as you can see you cannot select the other object from other layers you have to select them here first and then for example layer number two and then you can select the layer number object that are <coughs> in a layer number two and then select it then go into the object layer number three and change them or if you want you can delete them you can go to the layer number two layer number two layer number one you can simply delete them if you want yeah and as you can see we have a three three different layer with the three different <clears throat> object and as you can see if for example if you want to do this layer go all above the up of the layer you can click and drag them as you can see it's going up for betting seeing them in 3d you can simply click and drag it this or beat just click and drag as you can see it's a 3d object this is your 3d you can reset view to better understanding you can come here and set by side by side this is our 3d as you can see it's active window this box and this is our 3d you can simply click and drag it as you can see they are exactly at the same uh at the same level so the first tool here is a transform layer and as you can see you can transform the layer it means you can transform the whole layer that's the all, all object in it for example we are in level one and we have a lot of other stars they are in level number three you can by this transform you can transform the uh, <clears throat> individual object in one layer if you want to uh, move all of the layer at once you can select the layer that there are inside them you can uh, scale that layer you can rotate that layer scale in this direction it's a scaling whole layer with all of the objects as you can see you can rotate the layer anything that you want you can do with this one layer and as you can see you can change your position in x and y and z and the z position yeah you can see select it go to the orientation and as you can see we are in a 3d mode it's very useful when you want to um and another layer layer number two you can come here select the layer change the z position of that 
simple for better changing the position of the layer you can come here and holding alt and click and drag as you can see it bringing uh, at the z depths at the you can select it and come to orbit to better seeing that as you can see it changes the direction of that layer again as you can see you can scroll in your mouse here to changing that or in a 2d view if you want to only use only um active 2d view you can hold in alt click to the left and right why does it make uh, up and down sorry uh it does not scale it because it's uh, bringing this layer near to the camera and you can see it bigger than other as you can see it's going below it middle of the layer these two layers so this is important thing that you can create change the depth so uh, if you creating something like this for example this is number layer number three and bring it all the way down as you can see this problem will be occur so be careful about that uh, you have two things first Al uh, align your layer exactly like you want in a layers and in a 3d for example i want this level to be, uh, is nearer to the camera so i click and drag it to the uh, up level this level is near to the camera and the bottom level are far from the camera so mm, change the depth in 3d in a 2d with the uh, changing the z direction or you can reset it you can change the scale and reset it. You can change the angle. As I said, you can rotate and change the angle and reset it. Uh, you can orient, uh, you can flip it if you want. And these are alignment that I explain them later. <clears throat> and uh, arrange the um, depths of the, or um, layering of your layers exactly here. For example, this uh, blue layer you want to be far from your camera, please make it the bottom layer in a layer in this case you can manage everything well so um, and as you can see this is on la layer number three and the origin of this layer is here the origin of this layer is here you can set the origin of layers activate it and click and drag the origin for example here and then go to the layer and origin of layer is there and you can rotate for example as you can see you can rotate the layer based on that origin this tool is you can simply you can reset it you can anything that you want you can reset the origin at the exactly zero and zero in x and y you cannot change the origin of the layer in a z depth just to d here you can shear your layer you can shear whole layer and you can reset it Another important layer selector is this. For example, you have a very dense layer um, <clears throat> scene and you cannot, for example, I want to select this bone here, okay? And I can't find it in huge layer set like this. Oh, I confusing. So I want to select it from here. As I said before, you cannot in a mall, but you have used your uh tool to do that layer selector if you select it you can directly select your layer in your viewport and then it's selected also in a layer manager so you can use this tool and you can set a shortcut to that if you want as you can see it, it, you don't need to select the layer from here you can directly select it from here for example, as you can see, you can make it a one. As you can see, I will be explaining more about 3D. Don't worry, that was, but, but you learn uh, simple things that. Now, as you can see, if you go into the layer, I cannot select uh, anything of that. For example, layer below that, just I can select this layer that is selected here. You can select a layer selector and select the layer. It selects the layer, all objects, in that layer you can select it and then go to um, select the object and select the object in that layer so we have two tools here that's it um, let's go to 3d of that as you can see in this scene that is uh, from the scene from uh, uh, 
Moho library, as you can see, the arrangement, they're seen properly in 3D. Nice. So you have to, you, you learn how to do that. Okay. You learn it. For example, I first select layer selector. This, oh, this is just one layer. This is just one layer. Yeah. And learn, go to the it's layer setting. As you can see, it changed. You can, it, they change the Z direction of that. And the alignment from here. Okay. So arrange your layer also here and also in a 3D viewport to better organizing your scene and don't confuse yourself. Nice, here's the 3D. If you want to go to the 2D view again, reset view is going to the 2D view. Again, click, reset. nice. So you learn how to, and for example, you can, let's insert a wolf. Wolf, you can go to the library, search it, Wolf. Yeah, this is our Wolf. I bring it to the scene, check all. And that's it. This is our Wolf. <clears throat> Going in 3D. As you can see, this Wolf is walking. This is our Wolf. And select the layer. You can change the X and Y of that layer here. Simply, you can see it. And then that's it. You can go into the orientation 3D. Mm. I want to this wolf going in this direction. Select that layer, reset it, and change the Z in this direction. Nice. And of course, bring it somewhere there. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.